Say hi to the ant. Say the small little ant. Small little ant. Now we will see what this grasshopper and ants are going to tell us. Okay? Yes. Now we will see what they are going to do. The love story session. Today we are going to see a story of the ant and the grasshopper. Once upon a time, there lived ants and the grasshopper in a grassy meadow. The ants would work hard collecting grains of wheat from the farmer's fields far away. They used to work in much disciplined manner. They would hurry to the field every morning as soon as it was light enough to see by. And toil back with heavy grains of wheat balancing on their head. They would put the grains of wheat carefully away in their ladder. And the grasshopper was lazy in the shade, singing the songs to himself and eating tasty treats. But all day, days went by and grasshopper hopped around lazily in the grassy bong. When the ants were carrying the grains, one of the ants fell down due to heavy weight of the grain. He was tired and hurt. Instead of helping the ant, the grasshopper looked at him and laughed. The ant asked, Mr. Grasshopper, will you please with lifting the grain till my nest? I will be really thankful to you. But the grass ignored him and continued playing his music with the many efforts. The ants were still working, but the grass were still in the care. The ants asked why don't you store food for winter? When it's cold, you'll have no food to spare. Dear aunt, said the grasshopper. Come right into my song. Summer is here. The days are long and bright. Why waste the sunshine in labor and toil? The ant would ignore him and head went, would just hurry to the field a little faster. This would make the grasshopper laugh even louder. He would call after her, come, come and dance with me. Forget about the work. Enjoy the summer. Live a little. I am helping to lay up food for winter, said the ant. You do the same. <sighs> Why was it? And there is still plenty of time to prepare for winter. But the ant knew what he was doing and went on his way and continued his toil 
as the grasshopper hopped away across the meadow, singing and dancing merrily. Snow fell down and there was no more sunshine. So the grasshopper went up the hill. Heidi Heidi This continued for the rest of the days. Autumn. And autumn turned into winter. The sun was hardly seen and the days were short and grey. The nights long and dark. It became freezing cold. The grasshopper shivered through the cold breeze. He tried to cover himself with dry leaves around, but the strong wind even blew those away. He felt hungry and could not find anything to eat. He was sure that if he would not eat, he will soon die. He felt weak and soon Brasopa realized that the ants were right and he should have been prepared. This Brasopa did not feel like singing anymore. He was cold and hungry. He had no way to shelter from the snow and nothing to eat. The meadow and the farmer's field shall I go, wailed the grasshopper. He hadn't thought that this winter might be worse than usual and because he hadn't stored food for himself or helped anyone else to do. He would not live to see another summer. He had no way to shelter from the snow and found himself. I shall go to the ant and ask her for the food and shelter. So he staggered to the ant's hill and knocked at the door. Hello, I am to sing for you as I warm myself by your fire while you get me some food from the larder of yours. No, no, Mr. Grasshopper. We do not wish to listen to any song of yours. He begged them to let him in and asked for something to eat or else he would die. What? cried the ants in surprise. Haven't you stored anything away from the winter? What in the world were you doing all last summer? I didn't have time to store any food, complained the grasshopper. I was so busy playing music that before I knew it, the summer was gone. The ants shook their heads in disgust, turned their backs on the grasshopper. looked at him and said, All summer long I worked hard while you made fun of me and sang and danced. You should have thought of winter then, Grasshopper. There is no warmth or food for you here. But the door in the Grasshopper's face, the Grasshopper could do nothing but cry. The end. was so bad he didn't listen but ants are good ants are good now can ants share with the grasshopper next time grasshopper wait now grasshopper once again he will come to the ants please i apologize for my behavior can you please share the food with me or else i'll die and said okay but from next summer onwards, you are going to work along with us to store food for the winter. Next time, we are not going to help you. Now, ants shared their food with the grasshopper. 
Grasshopper felt so sad for his behavior and he said, Thank you so much my dear ants. From now onwards, I will sing, I will dance, but I will also work for next season. Thank you so much my dear ants. Let's all dance now. Many ants were working, bringing food to their hill every day. While the grasshopper sang in the sunshine, on his fiddle his song he did play. Fi dee da, yo dee da dee dee da day. I will sing all the while beneath the sunshine. I am cold, I am wet, I am hungry, and I'm sorry I played the days away. In the valley he went to the hill, felt really glad. I did, I did, I did.